What's up, people? So today we're talking about Moldavite. Now, um, I might be wrong, but roughly about 15 million years ago, around there, um, a massive asteroid hit Earth, specifically in the Czech Republic, um, the Maldive, I think it's the Moldov Valley, right? And once this asteroid hit um, Earth all these years ago, millions of years ago, um, the asteroid fused with the water and I'm a little bit prickly with the details but once the water and the asteroid fused it formed this beautiful thing called Moldavite. So technically A. This little glass piece looking thing is not I can't get a nice zoomed up like look at it but this is not necessarily a stone and this is not from earth either this is from outside of earth and um, it's known for its very intense spiritual properties especially in terms of growth spiritual growth um, think of Moldavite as a PT teacher that doesn't just sit around and allow you to relax it always consistently on all fronts forces you to push forward and it will make you definitely uncomfortable. It will make you feel unsettled, especially if you are being comfortable and settled in a idea or practice or an exercise of things that's not really aligned to your true self. The beauty of this beautiful thing called Moldavite is that um, it aligns with all your chakras. So it's an amplifier of all your chakras, but the two chakra points that it works with predominantly um, I'll say primary, definitely your heart chakra because it's green. So you'll place it on your heart and do, you know, your, your meditation. Um, or secondary would be your third eye, definitely your third eye. However, people, um, when I heard about Moldavite, I, I kind of heard a lot of stories about it being intense, making you feel high, making you feel like you're not on earth, um, very vivid dreams. Um, and um, you can't drive with it, you can't walk with it, you must always have a grounding stone. And me being naturally a skeptic, open to being corrected, I was like, Ach, I don't think that will happen to me because I'm a bit of a tank, I'm a bit of an ox, so it takes a lot to make me feel stuff. Maldivite does exactly that, they're not joking. It really does. It really does make you feel airy. You legit low-key feel like you're on psychedelics. Like the beginning stages of psychedelics, if anyone has ever taken like weed or just that beginning phase, Moldavite legit makes you feel airy. So I can't stress enough that when they say you should not drive with this crystal, you shouldn't drive with this crystal. When they say you shouldn't just wear this crystal in general, um, in malls and places like that, they're not even joking because this thing literally just uplifts your sensitivity so everything becomes a little bit overwhelming and depending on how sensitive you are it might affect you very differently and more um, than it affects me so when they say have a grounding stone with you I'm not even I can't stress that enough always walk with a grounding stone so right now in my right pocket um, I have my tourmaline with me which is the grounding stone um, always always now, if you, like me, into amplifying, like you like spiritual growth that's intense and you can handle that, then you pair Moldavite with this baby right here. See this tiny little piece of, looks like a little glass, glass piece. This is called a Herkimer diamond. Now Herkimer is an amplifier. That's what Herkimer does. Herkimer amplifies whatever crystal you have around around it. So it's been known to work with Moldavite or this Tektite um, way better than any other. Um, maybe I'm being a little bit exaggerating by saying that. I'm exaggerating a little bit. But specifically with Moldavite, specifically with a Tektite and Herkimer Diamond, if you place these two together, if you meditate with these two, you place Moldavite on your heart, you place Herkama on your third eye. Ooh! Oh, you asking for spiritual enhancement now. Now you're not with the, the, the little leagues. Now you're with the, the big boys. And when I say you go one up, I mean one up. So feeling things, being an empath, that will, that will be like baby stuff, baby steps. You're going to start going outside of earth you're going to start understanding things at a galactical level your things will be astronomical now 
You 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 won't be worried about earth-based and earth-bound things. There will be a massive in-depth review and understanding and interest in things beyond earth. And it's it's all part of it. It's all there. It's just that now you're going to be open to it a lot more. You're going to be pushed towards wanting to meditate more than spend time in public. Um, things that you thought were important to you, literally, you will slowly start becoming a bit of a nomad and disinterested in societal concerns and literally more interested in what is out there. So don't be surprised if you go down this route, but I must stress that you only, only buy Maldivite if you are willing to do the work, only buy Maldivite if you are willing to be uncomfortable. Only by Maldivite if you are really, really at a point where you want to increase your spiritual growth and you are willing to do the work that comes with it, the responsibility that comes with it. If you are not ready yet, if something doesn't pull you towards Maldivite and purchasing Maldivite, which is not cheap either, by the way, especially if you're based in South Africa, Maldivite can easily go for like, geez man, um, this piece was like 600 rand. The piece I wanted, which is a bracelet, is 2,900 rand. Um, internationally in the States, I think Maldivite goes for about a hundred, two hundred dollars easy. Um, UK, you're looking at a hundred pounds, 80 pounds around there. It's quite expensive. It's not cheap at all. However, in working with it over the past three months, um, I used to be a meat eater. I'm not a meat eater anymore. I used to eat dairy. I don't eat dairy anymore. Ironically, these are all, or this is all part of a diet that suits a healer, suits a psychic, suits uh, someone that does the work I do. So when I say it transforms things, it shifts things, it moves you out of places, makes you dis like uncomfortable with old practices, ideas, attracts the right people, the right information, the right research, the, um, makes you very conscious to what's going on around you. I'm not even joking, it really does. It genuinely, genuinely does. Moldavite does not play games and it continues, there's no end date, so it continues to teach you and, and allow you to be open to learning. So it's a beautiful tectite to, um, not start with, I would not recommend that you start with it, but if you have done the work, um, then this is a nice stone just to elevate um, your, your practices, whatever you're doing, whether it's whether you're psychic, whether you're not psychic, it's a beautiful stone to really check out, work with, and um, get ready to be uncomfortable with all the programming that you were taught as a kid, um, because that's what it's going to do. All right. I'd love to hear your stories um, as per usual. So in the comment section, if you've had um, an exchange with Moldavite, uh, please do share it. Uh, I'd love to hear about it.